living with a legend, Raphael, that does so much for our city, for Ybor's Ybor great city, grandson. his great, great, grand, his great grandson, and, um, and he's such a pleasure just to be around, and the fact that he introduced me was just yeah. as big as, as the award itself. I captured the moment when he extended his hand, and you embraced him. Yes. It was electric. Yes. What did you think at that moment? It's funny because I have loose pimples now. <laughs> it's so funny because it is emotional. Because it's not just receiving an award, it's it's giving back to our community and giving back to the city and and just making sure that our history is actually remembered. It's so easy to forget it if you don't make the proper steps to let our future generations know who we were. I mean all of us come from have uh, relatives from Spain and from Cuba. I'm, I'm from Cuba. And our Cuban history is is huge. It's I mean our revolution started the independence against the independence Spain. against uh, Spain. Not to be a colony anymore, to be a republic. Um, Jose Marti, which who is Cuba's George Washington, um, really you know made Ybor City the cradle of Cuban independence against Spain. Raised money uh, from the cigar rollers who at one point dedicated a, a seventh day, Dia de la Patria, they would work an extra day and donate that money yes. to Jose Martí for the Cuban independence war against Spain. Um, you are engaged in a different kind of war, you know, you're taking these old historic buildings and you're saying, you know, you're not going to fall <laughs> yes. and you are bringing new life to them. Um, t t give us a little bit of a description of, of, you know, what you see when you're going through these historic buildings in Ybor City that are falling apart and you are turning them into homes and naming them after the patriots of Cuban independence. Just for the historical uh, fabric of our community, I, uh, I am naming them after these these greats, these giants uh, that lived in, in that time and that helped Cuba become independent. And when I walk through those buildings, sometimes you, know, you pinch yourself because here you have the opportunity mm -hmm. to restore something that's such a, a once, uh, it's something that is not recreated. Right. And uh, recreating that, that the oldest cigar factory that's wooden that's left, that Jose Mati spoke in, it's something that's just surreal. Yeah. And, and these buildings are going to last for hundreds of years. How many buildings have you, are you planning at the end of the day, how many buildings are you hoping to kind of restore, give CPR to? <laughs> well, there's a combination of new and repaired. Right. So I think that our, our quest is long term. Mm -hmm. I think it's nothing happens overnight. And I see us working in Ibor for many years. What are some of the names? You have Casa Martí. We have Casa Martí. We have Casa Gomez. Uh -huh. Casa Socarras. Uh, Paulina Pedrosa. Casa Pedroso. Mm -hmm. We have Casa Bombero. We have Casa Oliva. That's so cool. So, and we have an, 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 an array of other names mm -hmm. that, that we're looking into to make sure that they, they get their proper uh, remembrance. Do you ever walk into one of these buildings and say, I give up. I can't do it. Or do you think, how am I going to get <laughs> to be back again? Those buildings deserve life. And so um, that's our job. Well, it is, if you could step over here for one last shot with our three honorees, um, it is such an honor to have the three of you. I mean, we love all the guests that come for Positively Tampa Bay. And we know you all are very busy and when you come in, but I have to say that on a personal level, as someone who just loves history, it is for me a personal highlight to have the three of you here sharing your passion for Evo City, sharing, you know, each of you have different careers, you know, um, and yet you found a way to use your time, your treasures, and your talents to help this historic 
neighborhood that means so much to so many people. I mean, I'm not from Tampa. Um, I, my parents came from Tampa in 1961, um, and they settled in you know in, in uh, Mineola, New York. You know, and I was born in New York, raised in Miami. But I have to say, if I could be, if I could have a do-over where I would be born, it would be Tampa. It would be Ybor City, just because the history. It was a neighborhood that was so ahead of its time where, you know, Afro-Cubans and, and pale-skinned Cubans and, you know, white Cubans would be working side by side, where the Germans, the Jews, the Italians, everybody was working side by side to make this such a special place. And so it is really my honor to be able to uh, just be able to help you share your stories. And I thank you for continuing your love. Thank you. You, you are, as my mom would say, lo mejor de lo nuestro. Thank you. And here's my wonderful Chantal Evia of the University Museum Society. Chantal, you had a great, you did a great job. We're, we're, we all, yes, absolutely. So thank you again, and we hope that you all watching this segment will enjoy it as much as we have. City Museum Society and for the organization and for the preservation of the history of Ybor City. Um, it's so important that we can sustain that and keep that going and I think that you're at the top of the list of keeping that happening and again on behalf of myself and my wife and my family I want to thank the Ybor City Museum Society for bestowing this wonderful award, uh, Tony Pizzo Award with me. I just was flattered, so flattered to receive it. And, as I said, I owe a debt of gratitude to the Ybor City Museum Society for, for giving that award to me. Thank you. It certainly was our pleasure, and I speak for all of our work trustees as well as our staff. And it was just absolutely wonderful for the solving the two of you plus Stephanie Aguilera have been selected for this award. I'm so very grateful that we recorded your comments at the event because they were so inspiring and we continue to post them on Facebook and anywhere else we can because you are